the Pioneer Performing Arts Center. We're so happy you guys joined us this evening to see our wonderful and talented students. We have a couple of things we want to go over this evening. But first, I want to thank a few people. First of all, Ms. Corbett in the back of the room for allowing us this opportunity. My fabulous friends and teams that have worked with these kids for the last 28 weeks. Uh, Mr. Spitzer, who took care of all lighting. Ms. Alonso, our choreographer. Ms. Ramsamu, wherever she's hiding, right there. Coach Rincon. Ms. Sarah Pichula. And our music person, Ms. Guy Duvall. So this has been a three-year process. We are actually on our third first year of Frozen. Some of our fifth grade students you'll see tonight were actually part of our original cast three years ago. So we're so excited that they got to stay with us and actually get to perform it for you. I also want to make sure that we thank none other than Dr. Phillips Center for Performing Arts. They awarded us this wonderful grant three years ago to help bring sustainable musical theater to the elementary schools. So, Ms. Sarah York, thank you so much for representing. And two other people that I want to recognize, that their wisdom and guidance got us through this, Ms. Diana Negron and Ms. Alexis Turner. You ladies, you guys are awesome. So one last thing, about halfway through the show, we do have a fog machine that will squirt out a little bit of fog. So just so you know, we're not setting off any alarms or anything. I promise, or hope. Anyhow, I ask that you please silence your cell phones and devices. You're welcome to take pictures or videos. However, I am asking that everyone please refrain from talking during the performance to show respect to our students who have worked so hard to do this performance for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show.
They're gone. Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? Well, we're supposed to be sleeping. But the sky's awake, so I'm awake, so we have to play. Okay, okay. You know there's a recipe for making a proper snowman. A little bit of you, a little bit of me, a part that loves to dream, a part that swings from a tree, a little like me, a little like you, a part that's not a part that's naughty too, a loyal friend who is there no matter what with a big brown oh, okay. and a big grouchy butt who loves more hugs and the bright sunlight and to really love the summer. So we'll build him back together. He's together, that's the key. Cause he's a little bit of you and me. What do we call him? Um, Olaf. Hi, I'm Olaf and I like my pot. I love you, Olaf. Okay, time for bed. No time for magic, please, and thank you.
or try to not lay it down the floor. And 
maybe we can keep the gates open and let life back into the castle. Wait, no, we can't. But why? I don't understand. It's right. You don't. Can you excuse a minute? Of course. <sighs> sorry, so sorry. Oh no. Are you okay? I'm fine. How embarrassing. There has to be a bear around me. I'm only Oh, Princess Anna and Eric, though. You know, not the air, just the spare. What? <laughs> you look upset. Are you okay? Long story, my sister also left me alone. Again. I'm sorry. I'm used to it. She shut me out for years. Oh, Anna, I can never shut you out. Okay, can I just say something crazy? I was crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. Then suddenly I bumped into you. I was thinking the same thing because I, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking or the chocolate fondue. But with you, but with you, I found my I see your face. And it's unlike I've ever known before. Lots of open
Of course, love of love. Nah, nah. 